this video lecture i am going to discuss what how to connect mongodb with db viewer so first here i am going to open the mongodb compass so this is your mongodb compass and now going to connect with the mongodb so here you can see this is the list of database sony and inside the sony test is the collection and this is the data inside there now thereafter here this is the uh, db viewer that is open here you need to click on this uh, new database connection after that you can here see all this is the popular so there i am going to connect with the mongodb so select this option click on this next after that the next is here database so database by default it's uh, selected local this one but there i am going to connect with the sony so change the database here after doing this one here you can see automatically host that's taken port that's taken and they have to oh, this is uh, a schema username no need to give this one and they have to if you done this then you can click on this test connection so this is asking about to download to uh, driver mongol java driver 4.5% and for this one internet must be connect so after ordering this one click on this okay here here you need to click on this test connection now you can see this is a connected mongodb with this driver click on okay and after doing this one click on this finish so finish and now you can see this is here or uh, sony or uh, database that's come from mongodb now there is the sony and here you can see this is a collection this is the test connection and if i double click on this test collection then uh, you can see uh, this uh, index id is there now click on this data so this is the data inside there okay and here is the year trigram so only one test uh, only one uh, collection is there so that it's so uh, or uh, not uh, here your diagram it's uh, not uh, suitable for the one collection now this is the grid format you can see on the text here this is a json format and this is the chart format okay so this is the simplest way we can connect uh, mongodb with db viewer so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you